This afternoon, we are hearing from community activists supporting a grand jury's decision not to indict a 17-year-old who'd been charged with murdering a convenience store clerk in Humble. The shooting happened back in January. The clerk shot and killed after getting in his car to chase after two shoplifters who'd stolen a bag of chips. Community activists say that the teens were defending themselves. But I said from the very beginning, when I turned these two young men in, that there was a lot more to this story that needed to come out. And that I was confident that once the truth came out, they would see that this case was self-defense. Both teenagers surrendered in the case, but only one faced charges. Today, this morning, Quano X had a message for young black teenagers. Brothers, go get some jobs or make jobs for yourselves. Let's not make excuses for criminal behavior. Mario Young's mother says her son was in solitary confinement for three months and he needs counseling as he is suffering from depression. All right, guys, so we got to talk about a pretty wild story out of Houston that involves a young scholar who decided to walk in a store with his friend and to steal from the store. Now, the clerk in the store followed the kids around, uh, a.k.a. he was profiling because he knew that these uh, young kids, the, the teenagers, they look like some people who would steal stuff from a store, right? <laughs> they look sketchy. So it's following them around. Lo and behold, they were stealing. Uh, they walk out and the clerk decides to walk out of the store behind them and to eventually get in his car and to follow the teenagers as they are leaving with stolen merchandise. Uh, eventually, uh, as the store clerk pulls up on the teenagers, I'm assuming to question him about shoplifting and to get back the merchandise that he lost from his store. Uh, one of the teenagers opened fires on the clerk, killing the employee of the store. Now, the grand jury that was charged with uh, indicting this individual chose not to. Right. They declined to charge the individual, claiming that it is self defense take a look murder charges gone after a grand jury no bill the teen accused of killing a gas station clerk now that clerk followed him after he stole a bag of chips according to court documents 526 is abigail died joining us live with the update after speaking with the teen's defense attorneys abigail at this point, this murder charge is no longer. The grand jury put a stop to this case, which means this teen has no criminal wrongdoing in the case at this point. January 19th, two teens walk into a Sunoco in Humble. Police say security video shows them stealing a bag of chips and leaving the store. You see the station clerk follow the boys out. Court records say that clerk, 42-year-old Asif Maknojia, got in his car and followed the teens. That's when investigators say 17-year-old Mario Young shot Maknojia. Two days later, Young was charged with murder and turned himself in. That's when he called Lot Brooks. It is just absolutely devastating. Uh, and I know my client is still very upset about what happened. Brooks says he believed Young's story that he shot that day in self-defense. When they left, there was no danger anymore. And then when he followed them around the corner and came and confronted them again, I think they were just, they were afraid of their lives. He says he put Young in front of a grand jury because he knew that they'd feel the same way. I let him go in to the grand jury by himself. I wanted him to be there with the grand jury and to be honest and tell them exactly what happened. He says his condolences go to the family of Magnosia and says Young's family is focused on getting the teen through graduation. We're hoping that, oh, with some therapy and some some other uh, some counseling that he'll be he's going to be better because he's he's really upset about it at this point. 
Now, it is possible for the district attorney to present this case to another grand jury, but there's no indication that that's going to happen at this point. Now, Brooks does say that the clerk was armed, but court records don't indicate whether or not he was armed at the time of the shooting. I asked Brooks where he thinks Young got this gun. I'll have his answer for you coming up on the News Edge at 10. Reporting live, Abigail Dye, Fox 26 News. All right, stay tuned, Abigail Dye. Thank you. Yeah, so you seen that, you heard that. Now, for whatever reason, this grand jury thought that this young scholar was acting in self-defense. Now, I have serious questions about that because, first and foremost, we don't know if the clerk had a weapon on him, whether or not he was armed. Second of all, we know why the clerk was following these teenagers is because they stole from the store. Now, do we have any type of evidence or video to suggest that the clerk was trying to harm these teenagers, trying to hurt them in any way? No. And I don't think that that was the case, right? I really think that he was trying to confront them about stealing and to get back the items that were stolen from the store. But you guys know, in the year 2024, if you work at a store or if you're a business owner, you can't protect your store, right? You can't protect your store from being robbed out of business, which is something that is happening all around the country. That's why a lot of these businesses can't operate. They can't turn a profit anymore. They have to raise prices. It's because they are literally getting robbed out of business, okay? This type of shoplifting and theft is rampant across the country, and you're going to see more of it with stories like this because what is happening here is essentially... They're saying, hey, we're going to let these teenagers get away with stealing. We know they were stealing. We're going to let them get away with it. But at the same time, this is one of those stories where, hey, a dead man can't tell his side of the story. The fact that that clerk unfortunately died, was shot and killed, he can't tell his side of the story. And I guarantee you if he was still alive and he could tell his side of the story, this would not be self-defense, right? This would be one of those things where they would be saying, yeah, I mean, these kids, again, who, by the way, you know, 17-year-old with a gun, riding around, okay, with a firearm, shoplifting, stealing. Um, in my opinion, I think that they knew that the clerk was confronting them about stolen goods, okay, and they decided that, hey, we'd rather kill the guy rather than to give back the bag of chips. So again, they took somebody's life over a bag of chips, and this grand jury is just letting them walk free with no punishment? Again, this is the problem with our society. This is the problem because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, this will not be the last that you hear of these teenagers because they've already shown that, hey, they're willing to take somebody's life over some chips. Imagine what else they're prone to do. Imagine what else they're prone to do. That clerk had no reason to want to harm the kids. We already know what he was trying to do. He was trying to get back the items that were stolen. So, again, when you look at a situation like this, it's really sad because it, this seems to be a miscarriage of justice. You have a man whose life was lost trying to defend his store, trying to defend his property. And the woke activists are trying to make the teenager seem like the victim, not the, the clerk that was trying to defend his store, trying to get his merchandise back. No, 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 no. He's not the victim. The kid is the victim. Well, the, the victim is depressed. And he needs help. He needs therapy. Yeah, he definitely probably needs some help. I mean, again, this kid decided to kill somebody at 17 years old. Yeah, he most certainly needs some help because if he don't get some help, then again, I, I have a hunch that this may or may not be the last time we hear about this kid uh, trying to take somebody's life. Especially, again, you that trigger happy at 17 years old, kill somebody over a bag of chips. But yeah, they're trying to make the kid out to be a victim. OK, next thing you know, they'll be telling us that, hey, he's a young engineer. He's a future astronomer. OK, a biochemist, <laughs> an oceanographer. OK, <laughs> he's an investment banker. This is what they'll be telling us. They'll be telling us all types of crazy stuff about how he's such a great kid and a positive contributor to society. When I guarantee you that's not the case. It's not the case. And the reason why, you know, is again, because the kid was riding around armed at 17 years old. Uh shoplifting okay stealing from stores and then decided to kill a man that was confronting them about stealing from his store we know why the guy was confronting them okay so again it wasn't just some random dude right it was sketched out nah they knew what was going on but you know hey this is the criminal justice system they're, they're letting criminals off they're being soft on criminals and again if you are a business owner if you are a store owner 
and you try to protect your property, um, you know, this is possibly what could happen. If a criminal turns around and open fires on you, okay, um, you know, you could die and then the criminal doesn't face any type of charges or responsibility or accountability for his actions. And again, people wonder why all these criminals are so emboldened to commit these acts of violence uh, in today's society, right? Why they're so emboldened to steal is because of stories like this. They're just getting away with it, man. They're just getting away with it. So until things change, uh, until we have law and order back in this country, you're going to continue to see it and it's only going to get worse. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.